here in this video I'm going to demonstrate the new point-to-point -point inversing Kogo enhancement. Uh, so what this enhancement allows you to do is select two points that are stored in the database uh, for you to quickly query the direction and distance between those two points. Uh, so if I go into the Kogo calculator here, um, the point-to-point -point inversing function supports all methods uh, within uh, the cal Google calculator here and for this example I'll just use the line intersection option for this demonstration and if I just uh, tap on point 100 on the map there to define my starting point and if I just zoom out here uh, just to show uh, the project and the azimuth that I'm gonna want to input is 100 and then uh, just as a separator uh, before entering the second point uh, we'll just enter two periods and the second point to define um, the direction here would be three and you'll notice that once we input that second point um, the map does update and display that direction and then once I hit done uh, you'll see that the azimuth input field updates to reflect uh, the direction value there. And if I select on point number one for line number two starting point, and I'll just zoom out here. And the second um, direction that I want to input is one dot dot 19. And you'll notice that once I input that second um, point, it does update again uh, to show the intersection between the two lines and then once I hit done um, it updates and shows uh, the calculated intersection point and then if we just zoom in you can just do a quick visual check of that point uh, just to ensure it is what you're expecting and if it visually looks okay on the top right here you'll see the plus button with the coordinate value here uh, so if hit plus this just enters, enters um, you into the new point screen and right now there's no feature code assigned to this point and if I just tap in I can quickly assign a code for this and you can just do a quick um, review of that point and if you do need to add a note record for the point um, you can click into that field to add one uh, but if everything looks fine just hit save and that stores um, the point to the database there. And you're now ready to start your second line intersection calculation um, if needed. If not, you can just close out and you're just returned back uh, to the map screen here. And that is a quick overview um, of the new point-to-point -point inversing Kogo enhancement.